Hello folks and after a long absence uh, a very welcome back to the Panzer Tesla project. I've got something rather special to show you to today and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll have a little bit of a talk about uh, what it means for the project and what we're going to do. Stay with us. All right. So, as you can see, we have Big Blue here uh, reversed up to the workshop. And in the back of Big Blue, we have something special. And here it is. Now, for, for those of you that may not know what this is, this is a complete lithium-ion battery pack from... Uh, what's known in the United States as the, che the Chevrolet Volt and in Europe as the Opel Ampera. So our first job is to get that battery out onto the floor here and then we can have a talk about it and uh, kind of discuss what it means for us to have this particular battery. We got a coolant leak. We got some Chevy Volt coolant coming out. Petrol can is going to do its job for us, I think. Yeah, come on, Petrol can. Oh, yeah. We're out. Okay, let's hope we don't get a pump in there on my brand new tire. Okay. Let's see if we can lift this thing now. And roll it back a bit. Okay, so we got the battery safely out. I did manage to damage those two uh, signal connectors there on the front, but I'm not too worried about that. We didn't damage any of the high voltage stuff or the cooling connectors. Now, my plan now is we're going to take out all of these 10 mil studs that are going around the corners. And we're going to take the cover off the battery so that I can get in there to the high voltage terminals and uh, check and see if we've got a good battery or a expensive paperweight because uh, there's no real way to test these um, because you can't energize the internal contactors without BMS being on and all that kind of thing so we're going to whip this cover off um, check do we have a good battery then I'm going to talk to you guys about kind of what we're going to, well, I'm going to talk to you about how I got it, and I'm going to talk to you then about how we're kind of planning to use it, so do stay tuned, more to come. 
Alrighty folks, so we've all the bolts out from around the periphery and there was four uh, screws here holding the service disconnect in, so I've got that out. I've got the cover moving, and just very roughly here anyway. And, uh, I'll just see, there might be something else holding it up the front end here. Oh, there is. There's a couple of more screws here around the front, so I've missed those. So, bear with me. Didn't know about that. This is my first tear down on one of these batteries. There are some very good videos online uh, showing how to do this. And obviously I haven't uh, watched any of them. Because I've got to find out the hard way. This stage we should be able to lift off. Let's see if we have a go for lift off. Alright, something happened anyway. There we are. Alright, that's looking good. Okay, guess we got us a battery. Okay, so I can see some exposed uh, terminals there, so that's a good start. So let's get in there with our multimeter. Hope you guys got your fingers crossed for me. Let's see if I've got a paperweight. Or a battery. So, bolts, DC. These, baby, come to papa. Come to papa. All right, so I've got a module here. It's got a positive and a negative. Positive. Okay, I've got 86 volts on this module here. It's a good start. Um, let's check this one. Got 65 volts on this module here. So it looks like we do have something going on. 86 on this one. And uh, 107 on this one. So let me see if I can pop the service disconnect back in there because I'm thinking that's the most negative so I'm seeing a strap going along here I think this is the most negative of the battery it looks like what the service disconnect is joining these two wires here together which seems a little odd but I'm going to just trust them that they know what they're doing that way uh, I did actually get the service disconnect so it's this big lump here don't know if I need a handle for it or something, but I'm sure I can just wedge it in there just for the purposes of that. Oh, there it is, that's in. Okay, so potentially then, if this wire here is the most negative, this one is the most positive. Oh, yeah. I got 344.5 volts. So we got a we got a battery, guys. We have got a battery. 344.5. It's probably fairly low state of charge, maybe at that, but it is a battery. Yeah, there it is. Pretty much, this is my first look at. One of these. Oh, look at this. There's actually stickers here. It says 
one kilowatt hour, two kilowatt hours, five kilowatt hours, two kilowatt hours. Okay, so this is five kilowatt hours, this module here. So that's five kilowatt hours worth of battery. This one is, there's two twos, so this is a four kilowatt hour. So four and five uh, is nine, so we got nine kilowatt hours this way. Um, let's see if there's anything on the far side here. Oh yeah, I got another seven here. Cool, so we got 16 kilowatt hours. So this is a, uh, this is I think what they call the Gen 1 uh, volt pack. Whew. Okay. And it's alive, Igor. Alright. So, yeah. There it is. Alrighty, folks. So, that is our Opel Ampera stroke Chevy Volt battery. Um, so a couple of questions to answer was, first of all was how did I get it because uh, for those of you that don't know the Ampera was never sold uh, within Ireland. Uh, it was sold in the UK and it was sold within U Europe uh, but never within Ireland. Uh, for whatever reason I don't know probably because we just love diesel here. Um, anyway. <clears throat> I had been on the DIY electric forum I've been looking around I've been just posting on some of the inverter treads that I've been wor working on and somebody mentioned the Ampera inverter as being something that I should have a look at and so on and I thought okay yeah because I really need another project but I went around eBay uh, I think it was on let's see what day was it Wednesday uh, of the uh, previous week. Today is February the 19th. Um, and I found an Ampere inverter in Germany. It's about 300 euros or something like that. And then I was just scrolling down the list and there was very few of them but unbelievably then I saw that there was an Ampera for braking in Ireland. I thought wow you know how did that happen but so I sent the guys a message and uh, and then I thought, oh, you know, what about the uh, battery? I wonder, is that uh, uh, available? So I sent them two messages, one about the inverter, one about the uh, battery. And it's one of these kind of vehicle recy recycling places, which is what they call a breaker's yard uh, nowadays. Um, so I sent them a message on eBay thinking either, you know, A, I get no response at all or B they'll want seven, eight, nine, ten thousand euros for it. But um I had to go out then on Thursday and about ten minutes before I was due to go out, I got a message back saying, Yeah, we have the battery uh for that car, we'd have we had a we have it priced for six hundred euros. And I was like you know, surely you've missed a zero there, but nope, it's 600. Uh, I got talked about the inverter, they wanted 250 for that, and a bit of haggling to and froing. Ended up getting uh, the battery and the inverter for 700 euros. Um, ended up having to change my plans a bit. Uh, cannonball big blue across it was the other side of the country uh, that doesn't quite mean the same thing in Ireland as say in America by the way um, so yeah ended up getting it in the car uh, got it back here and as you've seen now we've just found that we have a good battery so that's the how now for the why well as you guys might know from previous videos, it's my intention to use Tesla modules to run the Panzer. And I have two that were very kindly donated to me by Anna Kloppenberg at New Electric Amsterdam. Uh, but to complete the pack out to the point that I could drive the car, you know, on our road and have enough speed and perf 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 performance, 
I would need about another eight or nine mo modules. And no matter how I cut the custard, uh, that's the guts of 10 grand, guys. And that's about 9,300 euros more than I have at the minute. Uh, now, I still intend to do it. Um, but when I saw the Volt battery becoming available, I thought, wow, hang on a minute. I can use the Volt battery. It'll give me full voltage, full current. So let me really... Uh, shake out the car performance wise and the only thing I'll be lacking will be range but that's not a problem at this stage that lets me get all the integration done lets me get everything working nicely in the car the drive unit the charger the HV junction box the DC DC converter the battery heaters the cabin heaters the air conditioning all the crazy stuff you know, the display, the instrumentation, all that. I can take the car to the track, I can throw it around a bit. And, you know, we can do all of those things uh, because we've got a full voltage hybrid battery that will supply the voltage and the current for us. It just won't give it for, you know, for the 200 miles that I have planned for that vehicle. But that'll come later. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's why and the how and the wherefore of our Ampera Volt battery, call it what you will. Um, so we're going to be getting to grips with talking to the BMS on this, to grips with getting the contactors running, and then getting to grips with, with, get, with getting it fitted to the car. Now part of my plan for taking the cover off is the cover is a nice light um, fiberglass type thing. And I'm going to bring that down to the Panzer and go about see how it actually fits. I have a sneaky suspicion that I'm going to be able to use the battery as is, which would be amazing. Uh, but I'll show you guys that uh, when we get a bit more uh, look-see at it. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, thanks a lot to everyone for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And have a look in the description for links to my Patreon campaign should you wish to support me that way. And also links to PayPal and GitHub where you can download all of my stuff. Um, so, until next time folks, happy battery testing.